Oh, wait, I need to do something. What? Give me a minute. Just gonna... oh, right sake. making war plans. What the fuck? No. Oh, here we go. The real question is, when isn't Bright planning war, like, war plans? Planning war plans. I mean, I know there's a saying that says, are you ready, Mr. Krabs? Anyway, I yeah. am com I am done. All I right. continue. All right. As you can tell by looking into stream chat. Really, Dragon? I'm uh, not Dragon. Uh, gosh, damn it. Ready? Really, <laughs> Adurna? Anything. Really, Adurna? <laughs> Dragon, damn, all things are your fault. <laughs> anyway. Damn, I didn't know I was, like, I don't know. Oh, hold on. Before I start, I want to do a, a Twitch announcement. Okay. Let's see, what day is it? What day is it? What day is it? What day is... Today? Hold on, I'm looking at a certain date. Mm -hmm. Da, 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 da. Can I eat you? Uh, the 18th, uh, no, not the 18th. Uh, the 17th is not gonna be SCP Minecraft Hard Mode. Really? Really? When I'm trying to say something cool? Or... <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> Instead of S it's gonna be SCP Hard Mode, I'll put up a poll on what, what, no, a game you want me to do that could be sing that single on, player that I have. It calm down, the dragon. Actually, I'll just make a channel and you guys pick. But uh, basically, um, I'm gonna be do a, doing a subathon that day. Um. I'll try to do that on most of my days that I'm off. And I am off all week. Ah. Damn. From this Thursday to next Thursday. Ye. When is and when is the next Cards Against Humanity? The eighteenth. I really want to play cards. It's well, I One said day. single player game. <laughs> well, yeah, I know, but I'm just like well, I, I've been very much wanting to play that game. That's on the same day as my next therapy appointment. Oh, I guess you have something interesting to tell your therapist. Yeah, you do. With all the shit I pulled. Well, yeah. <laughs> but anyway, enough with the announcement. On to the SCP. Oh, yeah. Able to do an announcement, join the Discord server, and uh, it don't, it go into the channel. Wait, so are you going to be putting it into the polls channel? No, it's going to be a different channel, temporary channel. Like I did before for like the birthday stream. Oh, and that's where you're going to put the poll for what game you're going to do? Yeah. Gotcha. Anyway. All cleared up. How else can I interrupt you? Fuck off. SCP-1286 appears to be a plastic replica of the Fat Man atomic bomb. On the left of the hull is an acrylic drawing of a man frowning. Located in, in the rear is a small loudspeaker attached to the object with duct tape. SCP-1286 occasionally communicates through this device. SCP-1286 claims to be a functioning explosive. SCP-1286 presents great difficulties to all personnel responsible for containment in the sense that it will constantly debate with staff as to why it, it should detonate. When, ap when approached, SCP-1286 will be begin rocking back and forth on its own volition. Containment personnel who have observed this report and filling them with a great sense of dread, although researchers are not sure as to whether or not this effect is mimetic or due to SCP-1286 apparent nature. Further testing is to be done with Unbrief personnel. The only confirmed anomaly regarding uh, SV-1286 is the tendency to, of personnel to, in charge of containment of SV-1286 to gather around the life feed from SV-1286 containment cell whenever the device begins rocking. How this is coordinated 
is not known, but is reported to be sudden and compulsive, causing extreme anxiety for those present in a small radius out outside of SCP-1286 walls. SCP-1286 was discovered in the basement gallery of Redacted, an entertainment and art venue located in Manhattan, New York. Two agents attended opening an event. Sad man vis visits Chelsea with some friends. There, with inside the word friends, the eyes is replaced with the number one. Due to the concern with specific te textual con content of posters and other advertisements displayed. Before the gallery's opening, after the exhibit opened, guests were ushered into the basement room containing SB-1286 by a guide wearing orange shorts and a bandana concealing the face. The figure's identity is not currently known, although it is believed to be the creator of SB-1286. The figure spoke through a small orange microphone. The voice was projected through a loudspeaker in SB-1286 hall with the various phrases such as I'm just a sad little bomb, and tick, 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 bye. After the space of half an hour, the figure placed the microphone on the ground, after which SB-1286 continued its phasing unaided. Addendum 1286-B, Session 23. The following was an exchange between SCP-1286 and Dr. Sanders. The conversation is typical. Doc, Doc, are you there? Yes, Jeffrey. You wanted to be called Jeffrey, correct? Yes, Doc. Can we talk? Of course, Jeffrey. I've been thinking about how I'm at a bomb, right? Yes, you appear to be an atomic bomb. I've been having an, what do you call it, existential crisis? I feel like I'm supposed to explode. I mean, I'm a bomb. It's normal for you to feel that way, Jeffrey, but let's be rational here. You might kill thousands upon thousands, and the fallout would kill even more. But that's what I'm supposed to do. I'm a bomb. I can feel it in my core. I mean, they're... My trigger, it's cold, but it could be warm if I just flicked it. Jeffrey, we've been over this many times. If you keep responding like this, we may have to disarm you. But you won't. You won't because if you come near me, I'll fucking do it. I'll blow you all to hell. Jeffrey, please. You'll kill a... Say I won't. SCP-1286 begins rocking back and forth slowly for... For a space of 15 minutes, occasionally tilting to an extent that would typically cause an object to, of such weight to fall over on its side. Seven site personnel observe with what appeared to be panic attacks, and three personnel exhibit Cenocope during the event. And that's, and that's the end of the SCP, but it also says the related group of interests that created this SCP is Are We Cool Yet? Does anyone know oh, who they are? Yeah, that's... <laughs> of course it's them. Who is it? Who's that? It's a group of anomalous artists. Damn. Yeah. They just create art that's anomalies. They they made... Like, they made does that mean they themselves are SCPs if they have the ability to do that? Well, no. There's non... There's non-anomalous people who yeah. have made SCPs. Yeah. Mm. So thankfully not. That said, um, I guess my first thought is, do we know for a fact that this is an actual bomb? No. <laughs> yeah, this could be just some, like, really piece of shit, like, thing that looks like a bomb, but just, like, that isn't a bomb. No. Like, like, one. Okay. This... This artist would have to have access to the means to make a nuclear warhead, which I hope I don't need to say uh, that takes a lot of uh, money, time, and resources to create. That said, if it's an anomalous bomb, then honestly, anything could happen. But the main thing that I'm thinking of is why is this Keter? <laughs> it's not if even a joke ability... either yeah like it's not a joke scp why is this a keter like <laughs> it, like by this logic okay so the ability to cause immense destruction with a nuclear bomb okay 
almost every developed country on Earth is now a Keter class SCP. <laughs> the only thing that makes this special is that it that that it has an ex existential crisis constantly. Like besides Ooh. that, it's just it's it's just a hunk of metal that may or may not even actually be a bomb. So it though so <laughs> I will say its addendum was funny. <laughs> Like he even said it's going through an existential crisis. Yeah. Like, <laughs> my point being, I don't think that that, like, okay, so let's say that it actually is a bomb. Yeah. And if it's a fat boy, or not a fat boy, what is it? A Batman. Fat man? Yeah. Fat Batman. man. Okay. So it's, if it's actually, like, basically just the exact same thing as a fat man, the, if y'all didn't know this, the Fat Man and Little Boy were also some of the most inefficient nuclear bombs that have ever been created. Like, they're still going to cause a shit ton of damage. I, I mean, I, I don't think I need to explain why that is the case, but, yeah. like, they could be a lot worse. And it's ultimately, that. like, the worst comes to worse. This is an actual bomb. This is a city level, at yeah. most, is what yeah. I'm trying to get at. I mean, it's and not even like Chernobyl. <laughs> yeah, like that. That's a com. Yeah, it's like unbelievable. It's not like Chernobyl. It's not like the fucking uh, Nagasaki uh, and Hiroshima, when we fucked them over. No, no, no. <laughs> uh, literally, what it would be. Oh, yeah, that, that yeah. is actually literally what it would be. The the fat man, oh. fat man, wasn't that the one dropped on Hiroshima? Yeah. Oh, that's what it was. Yeah, I thought it was think, a different bomb. Yeah, fat man. Okay, so fat man and little boy were dropped on Hiroshima and Nagasaki. Oh. Yeah. yeah. So they are that class of nuclear bomb. They're going to cause a lot of damage, but like I said, in terms of like nuclear warfare, they are actually highly inefficient. Yeah. It's just the side note I was putting in. Yeah. Point being, yeah. this isn't a Sarbamba. Um, this very likely isn't a fusion bomb. Like, and again, like yeah. I seriously doubt, like I, like I think it's better safe than sorry. Like treat it like it's an actual goddamn bomb. But I don't, I don't feel like it's. I I really well, don't think it's a bomb. Well, it does have a anomalous property, which it gives people panic attacks and as well. Yeah, like it it, it makes people scared of it. It yeah. has an existential crisis. It looks like a goddamn bomb. It's a talking goddamn bomb. It's obviously an anomaly. But <laughs> okay, I have a drawing I idea. Wait, okay, wait, I, I wait. Okay, I want to, I want to do an artist interpretation of what I think this bomb looks like. One moment, I gotta open. <laughs> Damn it! I accidentally oh opened Among Us. No. Oh, also. Uh, wait, okay. I for Among Us. Also, uh, dragon. Uh, the name of the of the bomb is the Sad Man. Yeah. Yeah. Cause, cause Who it's... gave the bomb depression? <laughs> Apparently, Why, whichever... It doesn't have unaliving tendencies. <laughs> Apparently, whichever fucking... Uh... Are we cool Why yet? Why is the bomb like me? Whichever uh, Are We Cool Yet member decided to. <laughs> yeah, whichever dickhead artist <laughs> decided to do that. I guess... Yeah. I guess my big hinging point on what, like, whether or not it's an actual bomb is does the organization are we cool yet have the means to get a hold of the necessary uranium cores or radioactive I've, materials i've seen a lot of stories where the foundation kills them i mean in the orbital cycle some of them were killed <laughs> the yeah, foundation like, easily takes care of them yeah like i don't think that this is <laughs> like a a group that tends to be capable of getting such restricted access and rare materials. Yeah. So like I I highly doubt mm. that this is even a bomb and even in the case that it is it's only a city tier. So are you saying uh reassigned? I say spoon tier. I think this bomb needs a break. <laughs> this bomb needs a therapist. 
this bomb this bomb just needs to have a sit down and like ha like like explain to the bomb you know like like okay so what you were created to have a specific purpose but you choose your purpose you don't need to you don't need to explode like you could be you could be a magician or 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 a dancer or whatever the fuck you want you don't need to blow up right how Every artist on twitter listen listen it's the scp foundation we can figure it out well, the Look, SCP Foundation saying... is going. Listen, the SCP Foundation is going to fund the sad, the sad man's debut album. Uh, oh, so God. so that so that he does not even consider blowing up, even if he well, could, which he probably uh, can't. The artists, like music artists specifically, do have a tendency to, you know. Damn it! Yeah, true. Okay, the SCP well, Foundation. I'm thinking furry artist on Twitter. <laughs> oh my god! Oh no! Not only okay, no, no, no. Not only do furry artists on Twitter specifically make like sometimes a lot of money, so yeah. that is SCP funding. But a lot of them are like, from what I've like seen, are like genuinely just really happy people. Like they just like really like drawing anthro animals. Like they're just vibing. Yeah. Okay. So point being. Uh, it was a little bit of stress going to the debut album. Point being, we we get we get the sad the sad man. We we get him in to like proper therapy. We we ha have him should decide what he wants to be, preferably other than an explosive. And then he mm -hmm. gets to choose his fate. That's all I want for this bomb. This bomb has done nothing wrong. This bomb is a good boy. Which is a statement I... what? That's a statement that just <laughs> came out of my mouth. Okay, wait, I'm almost done with the drawing of the bomb. Uh, wait, one moment. Uh, solid color. It's a beautiful drawing. Why wait. The fuck is it not? Okay, I forgot this SP was a thing. But this technically has... Two names. Two nicknames. Some people call it Meg's Diner, which is what it calls on SP Wiki. Other people call it the Four Horsemen Enter Meg's Diner. I see. <laughs> Please tell me you know what the Four Horsemen are. I know what the Four yeah. Horsemen are. You know, you've Why got. Why do I feel like that's a reference to Good Omens, though? Because uh, the Four Horses of the Apocalypse. In Good Omens, they meet at a diner, like and like the, one like of the them four. owns a diner. That's okay. So the four horsemen are like I don't a reference to to something like in like Christian theology, I think. Yeah, I it's from it. Revelations. I know. Yeah. It's from that Good one Omens time. Is like a, it's, a... it's it's from that one book where Peter, uh, I think Peter. It was, was it Peter or Paul? The four horsemen are also in X Men. Yeah, you're gonna say the four horsemen are from that one book of the Bible where uh, a disciple takes LSD, throws CDs around the room, and describes <laughs> the visions of God that he gets from those. <laughs> Which is, I think, the most accurate description of Revelations. I feel like that could go with the entire Bible, though. No, so, no. Just, no. Not really. Also, are you ready for uh, for this four horsemen SCP? Well, Mom, I'm almost done with the drawing. I like I want you to see what I think an uh, artist interpretation yeah, you, of what I think the sad man looks like. You can you can do you can show us it after we go through to the next one. Yeah. Also, like, why the fuck are both of my teammates AFK right now? Why do I have to be the only one using explosives? <laughs> Anyway. Cause... Okay, my art... Oh, you, shit. God damn, I know. What dragon? Okay, okay, it's done. Wait. Okay, wait. What? I do want to see this. I have it put in stream planning. Okay. It's almost... My masterpiece is almost done. Wait. Okay, okay when, when you got it... When you have it done, put it in... It's in... I'm gonna put it in... Okay, it's in... It's gonna... Okay, it's in stream planning. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my god. Um, why? 
That's anyway. my artist interpretation. <laughs> Why did you give it anime eyes? <laughs> because Penguin made it to be based off of Kirby. Oh, yeah. Oh, fuck, yeah. Oh, no. It's a Kirby bomb. Anyway, are we ready for the SCP? Wait, wait, Kirby bomb. Wait, now, right. it's, now it's ZK. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, Bright, Bright, I think it is imperative that you put this piece of art, absolute masterpiece of artwork, onto your stream. I'm not doing it. <laughs> Please, Please. in the YouTube video, yes. Not I'm okay. Sure. Okay. 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 That's that's acceptable. You better remember. That's gonna be an extra on the second uh, YouTube channel. You should go follow. I did not. Oh yeah, myself. self promo. I did not. I do think that. you mean subscribe. Follow is for <laughs> other spies. <laughs> Professional <Hello>. YouTuber. <laughs> I want Twitch more than YouTube. To be honest. So what? You're talking about YouTube, yet you called it follow. You called it followers. <laughs> Shut up. Anyway, uh, no. on to the SCP. SCP-1295 is, is the collective designation for a group of four elderly men who patronize Meg's Good Eaton, a diner over the redacted highway, redacted between 9 o'clock and 18 o'clock every day. SV-1295 is anomalous properties manifest when an instance of SV-1295 is prevented access to the diner between the hours 9 o'clock to 18 o'clock or removed from it by force. The exact nature of the effect and its duration is contingent on the instance of SV-1295. SV-1295-1, if prevented access it or removed from the diner against its will, SCP-1295-1's anomalous anomalous properties will begin to manifest between 5 and 10 minutes after its removal. Those caught in an area beginning with approximately 100 meters from SCP-1295-1 exhibit extreme lethargy and complete lack of any self-preservation instincts, making, it, making even a simple accident potentially lethal. The area of effect grows by approximately 100 meters for every hour SB-1295-1 is kept away from the diner. SCP-1295-2, if prevented, access or removed from the diner against its will, SCP-1295-2's anomalous properties will begin to manifest between 2 and 3 hours after its removal. Those caught in an area beginning with approximately 500 meters from SB-1295-2 lose their ability to discriminate distinguish between edible and inedible matter and will often endanger themselves or others in attempts to consume unsuitable nourishment such as metal, toxic waste, living flesh, etc. The area effect grows by approximately one kilometer for every hour. SV-1295-2 is kept away from the diner. SCP-1295-3 is prevented ex- if prevented access or removed from the diner against its will, SCP-1295-3's anomalous properties will begin to manifest immediately after its removal. The bodies of those caught in an area of approximately 50 meters around SCP-1295-3 will lose all microbial life forms associated with them. The adverse effects include, but are not limited to, a rapidly decrease in the functionality of the digestive system, Due to lack of gut flora, the area of effect grows by approximately 200 meters for every hour. SCP-1295-3 is kept away from the diner. SCP-1295-4, if prevented access or removed from the diner against its will, SCP-1295-4 anomalous properties will begin to manifest 30 to 40 minutes after its removal. Those caught in an area beginning of approximately 150 meters from SP-1294-4 will experience a sharp increase in self-preservation instincts to the point of paranoia and acute hypochondria. This condition soon becomes debilitating as those affected by it will refuse to perform any action that might put them in any sort of danger, minor as it may be. The area of effect grows by approximately four, uh, 200 meters for every hour 
SB 1295-4 is kept away from the diner. Those was caught by both the effects of SCP-1295-1 and SCP-1295-4 enter a comatose state, presumably due to their opposing nature, creating an unbearable mental strain on the subject. Any attempt to attract instances of SCP-1295 when outside the diner has thus far failed. And that's the SCP. Okay, so it's just four guys that eat at a diner, and when they eat at said diner, bad shit happens, but worse shit happens if you try to keep them from eating there. Yeah. Are they boomers? This sounds like boomers. Also, <laughs> hold on, I want to ask a question. What's lethargy? Or le lethargy? Uh, lethargy is, like, uh, being super tired or, like, really weak. Oh, so yeah. me on a daily basis. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's, that tracks. So what would that even do to well, me if yeah. I was in, in, in effect? You would, you would be... You would explode. <laughs> it would make... What? No, it would, it, would okay. just, it would just make it you would, extra it tired. Would, it would exasperate those. It would exasperate it. Yeah. You would have you ha you would have both fucked brain chemistry, and an SCP making you tired. Yeah, which makes you double tired. I mean, so far, I like all of these um things, only one of them doesn't end in death. Yeah. Hmm. Well, I mean, it it can cause death because. That 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 aspect of like paranoia. making people yeah. well not just the paranoia, like that aspect of making it so that people like have no uh self preservation instincts kind of just means that uh I thought well, it was like, extra self preservation. Yeah, it, exa it exacerbates the self preservation instincts. Yeah, a sharp um, increase of self preservation in instincts. Oh, I thought I heard something that like early on that said like it lessened the self-preservation that was the first one i think the first one as in yeah like... it, it exhibit extreme lethargy and complete lack of any self-preservation instincts yeah that's what i meant yeah and putting those two together one and four you're fucked <laughs> yeah <laughs> either way point being um just don't keep them from the diner yeah, don't keep them from the diner. Uh, when when they're at the diner, just try try to take care of the effects. I would say that this is just a certain group situation. Mm -hmm. Yeah, certain group at most city. You know, yeah. you know, it'd be bad if um if because COVID does exist in SAP universe. Yeah. If COVID shut down that diner. Oh dear God. <laughs> well just well just make well the SCP Foundation could make sure that they keep it open for the SCPs. Like they they can figure or it out. Or like it open for selective amounts. So that there's only like mm -hmm. a selective amount where only those people can go in. I.e. these four horsemen that if they don't get their goddamn coffee will fucking kill people. <laughs> I mean, that makes sense. <laughs> like, they but, uh... gotta have their goddamn coffee. Mm. Uh, so you said certain groups. I, I, I agree with that. Yeah. I think, yeah, I think what Adonis said is spot on. Like, worst case scenario, you've got, uh, city level but yeah. given like proper containment seizures going on like it's it's just gonna affect people like in the general vicinity yeah and like it's not even going to actually hurt them for the most part <laughs> like like it, it it just makes it, it it'll just affect them a bit negatively probably because they're near boomers and then they're fine not that big a deal Yeah. There are multiple people with bounties on their heads. Alright, so the next SCP, which, um, since it has a new look on it, with a bunch of 
and everything. And it's also part of the RCT. I don't know what part of the Greek alphabet the triangle is that is or what it that means, but the triangle thing T. Hmm. And what they that organization represents is secure the past, contain the present, protect the future. Let's see. So I guess this has something to do with time. All right, we ready? Yep. All right. And it's an inactive state. Item SCP-1297 is a glass jar approximately 20 centimeters in height with a plastic screw-on lid. Contents of the jar are, are apparently human toenail clippings in various states of decomposition. The precise volume of the item as well as the number, age, and composition of the clippings cannot be determined due to the item's anomalous properties. Anytime a toenail clipping is removed from the jar, SCP-1297 will project a unique temporal displacement field during experiment trials and breach attempts. It has been determined that the difference between the year recorded within the anomaly and the year recorded by the observers outside the anomaly increases both with dur duration of activity and number of clippings removed from SCP-1297. The active radius of the anomaly also increases by the same criteria. An initial manifestation, SV-1297's active radius is 0 0.5 meters. At the, e at the triangle T equal to 10 years, this will increase by radius 0 0.5 meters and triangle T of 10 years per hour per, cl per clipping. Countering this effect requires the return of the original toenail clippings to SCP-1297. Each clipping returned is capable of reversing both the increase in radius and the triangle T for which it is responsible. Unlike other localized temporal anomalies, the field will allow organisms, persons, radiation, and simple objects to pass in and out without harm. Anomaly SCP-1297 97 represents a localized TK class casual restructuring event resulting in all temporal local casualty being forced progressively further backward along our current world line. Although sense of identity, personal history, and basic situational knowledge remain intact, progressively greater levels of technological regress can be observed within the active radius. Despite minor disorientation, Caused by the disappearance and regression of technology currently in use, all persons exposed to the effect indicate no knowledge anything has changed unless previous, previously informed by SCP-1297's unique properties. The field is not directly harmful or to, to healthy humans, however, subjects requiring the existence of advanced technology to survive will either expire or disappear entirely if local triangle T precludes the existence of that technology. Items or personnel lost to the effect will be restored once the offending clipping has been returned to SP-1297. Lateral damage caused by their temporal disappearance is not. SCP-1297 employs a unique offensive strategy to increase the acceleration of the field's effective radius at tri and triangle T. Although clippings can be manually removed and replaced without triggering this effect, SCP-1297 will, at random intervals, open and eject a random number of clippings covered in an unidentified, uh, unidentified viscous, sticky, malodorous brown humor. Direct skin contact with the humor causes intense abdominal pain, nausea, and vomiting in 100% of subjects. Olfaction was sufficient to induce effects in 13% of those exposed. Incapacitation due to vomiting, shortness of breath, and loss of consciousness lasts over 20 minutes in all cases. In addition, SCP-1297-1 is capable of spontaneous animation. Within 5 minutes of emergence, SCP-1297-1 will solidify around any injected clipping in a radially symmetric pattern similar to 
an invertebrate vertebrate of class Essorodia, resulting animate instances of no greater than 0.25 meters in diameter, but are capable of 2 meter vertical jumps, leaps at length of 5 meters, and movement in any direction at speeds of up to 45 kilometers per hour, which is employed to put as much distance between SCP-1297 and SCP-1297-1 as possible. Instances appear to be aware of the surroundings and have been known to remove additional clippings from SCP-1297 before attempting escape. Entities similar to SCP-1297-1 have been observed in relation to the SCP-3109 anomaly. So, basically, that's it. I was not expecting that. It's... It's a jar of toenails that degrades time. Hmm. Who is thinking of this shit? All right. <laughs> Obviously, I... someone I need to be friends with. Hold on. Hold on. I got the description of that other SCP mentioned. SCP 3109 1 and. Uh, wait, hold on. SB3109 is roughly a spherical area centered around a newly discovered Coupier belt object 2448-0102 with an approximate radius of 25,000 kilometers. What the fuck did I just read? I don't know. I'm shooting at people. Okay, so it's apparently a space object. It's connected to a space <clears throat> object. Oh, so it's aliens that are trying to fuck up our technology. I goddamn knew it. Aliens have <laughs> have toenails? Maybe. Why? Well, no, these yeah. are human toenails that the aliens collected so that as to more effectively fuck up our technology. Yep. Though it also said TK class. I'm gonna have to look up Why do the is. aliens have a weird fascination with feet? Who let them on Twitter? Actually, who let them on Wikifeet? Wikifeet? That's a thing! Uh. That's a thing. Actually, need re- I'll need to right. research this phenomenon later. <laughs> I don't on. know about Wikifeet. Alright, I found out what TK class means. Primary okay. definition. A massive CK class restructuring took place that resulted in the breaking and repair of the timeline. But like a broken face, the repair timeline is flawed, with events that don't line up and things that happened without a cause. I see. Does that that make sense? Yeah. So we know what TK class is, and they said it's pretty much a TK class. Yeah. But where would you put that on the fucking board? Would that be in the world or reality? Oh, well, it wouldn't be the end. Well, it destroys and then reconstructs reality. Yeah. So the answer is, of course, maybe. I'm not sure. This is this is a difficult one. I thought it was just gonna be like, oh, just a time to show an anomaly, put it in reality. No, this is a difficult jar of toenails. (laughs) 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 I have no idea where to fuck with the shit. Uh Well, I, I'd say put it in X or in ZK. Yeah. It's like it is destroying reality. It's just then immediately reforming it. Yeah, once the toenail killer pants are put back. Yeah. Wait. Why is all the weirdest shit 
get put in the ZK class. We got a phrase, a restaurant, and toenails. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, anyway, are we ready to continue for the next SCP? Mm -hmm. All right, next SCP is Solve for Bear. SCP-1313 is an anomalous series of logical processes capable of being defined as a mathematical equation to which the answer is a single female specimen of Ursus Arctos. The equation itself does not appear to be inherently anomalous, but rather a quirk of mathematics rather than producing any number in R slash A. SCP-1313 resolves okay. to... Huh? I'm, I'm sorry. Real quick. I have to, exp I have to tell y'all what just happened in this game. What? Okay, so I'm, I'm playing GTA, and I see a blip pop up that makes me think that this person has a bike that I can sell. But apparently I misunderstood what the blip was showing. So I killed a completely random person for no goddamn reason. Now I was thinking I should probably, you know, text them and apologize. And then I noticed that their name on Xbox Live is 4chan. <laughs> I will not be texting oh, an apology oh to my them. Gosh. <laughs> Oh, yeah, no, that's completely, <laughs> yeah, no, that's good. Yeah. Right. I just thought y'all... If anything, you should, you should message them, fuck you. <laughs> actually, talking about 4chan, on the topic of 4chan, though, um, 4chan oh, is no. actually, like, shutting down soon. Like, in a few oh. months. Nice. Nice. Yeah, anyway. But the, the only... Yeah. Yeah, nice. So, Problem yeah... Is, uh... Yeah, probably move over to like Facebook and shit. Yeah, they pro oh, uh, they will either go to Facebook, Reddit, depending on how far they far gone they are, Kiwi Farms. Oh God, not what Kiwi Farms. I have never. Oh heard of God, that they're in a uh, Kiwi Farms is an uh, is basically what happens when Nazis decide I'm tired of 4chan, so let's make our own 4chan. <laughs> That is Kiwi wait, Farms. Wait, so let's Nazis. make our own, own worst worst thing than Port Chat? Yeah. yeah, anyway. It's a Yahtzee breeding pit, pretty much. Yeah, yeah. on Either back way. to the SCP. Yeah, um, sorry, would you mind just restarting because I, yeah. I derailed I the whole fucking stream for a moment. I apologize. But before we do, or do does anyone know what this means in math? Because I've never heard of it. R slash A? Uh, I think... Um, can, you sh can you show me it? Hold on, I can screenshot it. If it's R slash A, then I'd be willing to guess that those... That the R and A are variables, so you would punch in whatever R is, and then A is the power of. R could mean radius. It's in stream planning. Oh, it R slash A instead of... Oh yeah, Th those are the variables. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And it, it's not uh to the power of it would be uh r times a. If I remember yeah. if I remember my algebra punctuation correctly. So that's what it is r to r times a. Yeah. Okay. I believe. All right. Right. Either that or it's either that or it's yeah. no, it wouldn't be R over A because the slash would be the other direction. Yeah. Yeah, so I think it's R time I'm sorry. Okay. Anyway. SCP thirteen thirteen is an anomalous series of logical processes capable of being defined as a mathematical equation to which the answer is a single female specimen of Ursus Arctos. The equation itself does not appear to be inherently anomalous, but rather a quirk of mathematics, rather than producing any number in R times A. SCP-1313 resolves to produce a tangible, adult, and frequently enraged grizzly bear. 
the resolution does not have to be physically represented and simply considering the problem long enough to arrive at the solution has resulted in a bearish manifestation in or around the subject solving it. SCP-1313 does not require any particular mathematical ability to comprehend beyond a basic understanding of elementary algebra, but all steps of the sequence must be completed in order to reach the correct answer. Skipping parts of the process or attempting to start midway through will not result in any anomalous effects and will likely produce a purely mundane result. Currently, Wait. what? Oh, is, is it still going? Okay. Yeah, it's still going. I, sorry, sorry. It's fine. Uh, currently, examination of partial components of SCP-1313 has revealed the following information about the anomaly. SCP-1313 itself conforms to all axioms used in currently number theory. The bears cannot be returned to numerical form simply by solving the equation's inverse pending the invention of a method of applying mathematical operations to physical objects. SCP-1313 can, can be used as, the, as an element of other equations to produce semi- Anomalous results, for example, SCP-1313 divided, uh, divide, divided absolute, I think that's what it is, uh, resolves to a square root of a, a live grizzly bear, otherwise SCP-1313 squared is the product of two live grizzly bears multiplied together. It is not recommended that such derivative equations be solved that the creatures produced are usually poorly integrated into our reality and invariably extremely hostile during their brief periods of existence. That grizzly bears exist within the set of all real numbers and are not prime. The square root of a grizzly bear is prime, however, and is the only well, uh, prime number that A is not a cardinal number, B is neither even nor odd, and C contains an animal component. The implications that the root of the of the of a bear is an integer, and therefore that bears itself exists out on an ordinary number line are currently being investigated by Professor Hutchinson. SCP-1313 first came to the Foundation attention in 1967 when a bear attack was reported at White Cross High School, here Ford, England. SCP, uh, no, nah, I got ahead. Sorry. 1794, a separate instance of bear attacks in educational institutes have been observed since, and an estimated 1,600 fatalities and 900 further non-fatal injuries of the 1724 bears and mathematical bear composites generated at least 20% are still at large. Notice, if during the reading of this document you have pondered, pondered the nature of SB 1313, to such a degree that you feel that you have independently formulated a portion of its structure, you are advised to make your way to the site's nearest amnestic distribution station and then to animal control. Failure to do so may result in disciplinary action and or bear-related injury. That's the SCP. Okay, this isn't a dash J, is it? No. This it's just, it's just a mathematical equation that spawns bears. What yep. the fuck? <laughs> I mean, I did say his nickname was Solve for Bear. <laughs> this is, this is too great. But Wait, does this mean, come to think of it, does this mean that we could help offset the fact that uh, grizzlies are endangered by just solving this problem a lot and then making sure that people are safe from well, the bears somehow. Only 20% oh percent a lot of problems. Yeah, and plus only 20% are still at large, which means the other 80% 80 are either dead or in containment. Well, this... yeah, but that's that's because they're anomalous bears. So, like, they're either being taken in because they're anomalous bears or uh, they're dead because they probably got shot because there was spontaneously a bear in the mall. <laughs> this, like, 
Also, like they could have been killed by I the comment humans have killed bears for stupider reasons. Like the yeah. last California grizzly yeah. was literally murdered because they went near a farmer's grapes and the farmer didn't want to lose the grapes. Yeah. <laughs> so this reminds point... me of that oh sorry. Um uh, go ahead. This reminds me of that one Bible story where uh like a fuck ton of kids made fun of one of God's apostles for being bald, and then God sent down like two bears to fucking maul and eat the kids that made fun of his apostle. Are you saying this is God's mathematical equation to kill children? No, it just reminds oh me of that God. one story. Oh. Oh. And yes, people watching this that are Christian, that is in the Bible. <laughs> There's a yeah. lot of fucked up shit in the Bible, which is kind of weird because, like, there's all these, like, rules and laws and shit restricting what, like, kids can read, and then they'll allow the kids to read the Bible, and the Bible has more fucked up shit. Yeah. Anyway, Hatchet, what were you going to say? Uh, I don't remember at this point, but I think the thing that ultimately needs to be said is, uh, whether or not y'all want to put it there, uh, this is an, this is a spood tier for me. I if, I feel you yeah, on that. This it's just a math equation that spawns bears, like it's goddamn Red Please, Dead Redemption. Yes. It may yes. be a mathematical equation, but how many mathematical equations spit out bears? Not only <laughs> well, yeah, that, what if there's like an a, well, like what if there's like an autistic person who is like special interest is this one specific fucking mathematical yeah. question, and so they're infinitely just spawning yeah. bears. Are you trying to say someone might purposely summon bears? No, they just might really like the bears, and so they keep I mean, spawning the bears. Jerry, to that question, the chaos, chaos insurgency might. Also, some people just really like bears. Wait, I I just kind of want to tell the GOC just about this SCP and them trying to get rid of it. <laughs> 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 But the thing is, how do you spawn the bears? Do you have to completely all the time like you finish? Have to, you, just you, you have, have to, to complete the equation. Yeah, you gotta finish it. Uh, you have to complete like a really the long question. Just complete it. It's 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 implied to not be super long or super difficult since all you need to figure it out is uh what was it, elementary level uh algebra. algebra. Yeah. So like it's it's pr if it is long, it's still absurdly easy to solve. So it, it's it is really easy to spawn bears with it. But point it's being delicious, but scary. Yeah, point being, um once again, I think this should be an instance food tier because because bear spawning. Just I spawn love bears. The idea like, of bear right spawning. Now. Just fucking spawn bears like it's Red Dead Redemption. Okay, does that mean there's one for every animal? Because I want a math equation that equals oh, penguins. That would be amazing. Is there a math equation that equals groupers? Because I want to go. Uh, groupers are a type of fish, and specifically the Goliath grouper are gigantic fucking boyos that are going extremely in danger, but they are absolutely gigantic, super intelligent fish. And they also, they fight lionfish. They are some of the handful of fish in America that have very rapidly adapted to eat the fucking invasive lionfish. Okay, Ooh, so, awesome. um, I, I, did, I did move it already, but, uh, the next SCP, I can't say it's nickname with the child present, so I'm gonna send it to the adults. Is it NSFW? It's not an S NSFW SCP. But it's nickname. <laughs> it's something NSFW. I want to know. Well, too goddamn bad. What's the number? What's the SCP number? Well, you're gonna no, hear when I read it. Don't look it up. I'm not gonna look it up. Liar. We know you. What's the we number? We know you're gonna look it up. What's the number? I'm not gonna tell you. Hey, Bright, when you say the number, you should deafen Penguin. No, I want to know the number. Oh, number don't three. worry. Don't worry, I already have something I'm planning to do. I'll just open Twitch. 
Right. You do realize Shut I'm not off. showing it. Right. Shut off Twitch. What? While you, when you say the number, turn off, turn off the stream, and then turn it back on after you've said the number. No, I'm not doing any of that. I'm not muting <laughs> anyone. But anyway, did you see the nickname? Yes. Yes, I did. <laughs> Why is it nicknamed that? <laughs> okay, see. I just sent it to you already, Adarna. What? Why? <laughs> I guess we're about to find out. Anyway. SCP Redacted is a stable space-time anomaly presently hypothesized to be an interdimensional aperture into a parallel universe. The anomaly occupies a fixed location around which Site-122 has been constructed in order to study and contain it. The anomaly is roughly ellipsoid in shape, measuring approximately 2.5 centimeters long its longer axis and approximately 1 centimeter along its vertical axis. The anomaly is two-dimensional and coplanar with a plane perpendicular to the horizon and ori oriented approximately 36 degrees west of true south. Matter and energy are capable of passing through the anomaly in a manner of a transversible wormhole. When lighting conditions are in the space in the near vicinity of the other side of the wormhole permit, the space on the other side of the wormhole can, can be directly observed. Particles and objects of a cross section not exceeding the anomaly's dimensions are capable of being inserted into the anomaly and thus transported into the parallel universe. The anomaly does not conduct sound. The parallel universe on the other side of the anomaly has been officially designated SCP Redacted A, although the term Hurtail has also been colloquially used. The anomaly appears to have been artificially and deliberately generated from the SCP Redacted A side. The population of SCP Redacted A does not appear to have been successful in generating additional instances of SCP Redacted, nor in altering. SCP redacted dimensions or closing it. The anomaly appears to have emerged in the standard universe in approximately the year 1952, with the Foundation promptly establishing control over the anomaly's location. Although the Foundation had initially conducted an extensive study program of SCP redacted, including communication with the civilization on the other side of SCP redacted, recent Foundation efforts have focused on containment. Ah, uh, but yeah, that's the SCP. It's just literally a portal. It's just wait. Okay, so do we know that the entities on the other side are still trying to break through? And like, is this thing expanding? Like, what? Why is this a keter? Hold on, I can read the log. I just opened it. Hold on. Nineteen. Uh, eight, oh, uh, August 1952, anomaly discovered. September 1952, Foundation obtains custody over SCP Redacted, containment chamber constructed. October 1952, metallic cylinder emerges through anomaly. Cylinder is retrieved and subjected to quarantine and sterilization. Following clearance, cylinder is examined and found to be hollow with screw cap. Cylinder contains triangular sheets of paper-like substance upon which glyphs are inscribed. Artifact referred to linguistics unit. November 1952. Experimentation with, with SCP redacted progresses, including in introduction of various objects through anomaly, samples taken of atmosphere in SCP redacted A space, found to resemble Earth's atmosphere, but with a higher concentration of argon. December 1952. Several additional cylinders containing documents emerge through SCP Redacted, and after a quarantine, are subjected to analysis. July 1953. Linguistics, linguistics and mathematics personnel report breakthrough and analysis of documents obtained from SCP Redacted-A, 
message on glyphs in interpreted as representations of geometric principles and text apparently composed with a deliberate purpose of establishing cordial contact with the discoverers of the message. Linguistics unit composes reply message using the same writing system, points same on paper, places paper and a metal cylinder of foundation manufacture, but resembling those used by SP or dacby a culture and assert cylinder into anomaly. September 1953. Light activated on far side of anomaly. Close observation of anomaly indicates that far side of anomaly is located in what appears to be an artificially constructed containment chamber, broadly similar to that constructed by foundation for containment of anomaly. October 1953. Approximately start date of extensive communication with SCP uh, redacted A. Civilization. Communication initially consists of reciprocal delivery of text messages on paper, first in glyphic si system in which initial messages are composed, and subsequently in a mutual developed blend of said glyphic system and English. Communication accelerated when SCP Redacted A Civilization proposes the construction of a telegraphic system involving a specifically shielded cable transversing the anomaly, with reciprocal equipment for the encoding and decoding of communications on both ends. November 1953. Communications with SCP Redacted A civilization indicates that the civilization is composed of Homo sapiens. Organiz organization with whom communication has been established is a scientific institute associated with the polity comprising the geographic area surrounding the SCP Redacted A side location of the anomaly. Details of political organization and technologies of SCP Redacted A civilization are disclosed. SCP Redacted A civilization has attained an advanced degree of technological and engineering sophistication, uh, particularly in the fields of mathematics and high end energy physics, in which civilization's achievements surpass those of Earth. Of the anomaly as an unintended consequence of the experiment. Oh, wait, that's parentheses. Never mind. But with less sophistication in biological science. SCP Redacted A Civilization expresses strong interest in sharing samples of music, visual arts, literature, and mathematics, but no interest in medicine or religion. Reciprocal deliveries of data from SCP Redacted A Civilization are achieved and undergo analysis. January 1962. SCP Redacted A Civilization provides detailed log of astronomical observations and suggests that Foundation reciprocate. Analysis of provided data by Foundation researchers suggests strong probability that there is no position within our observable universe that can correlate to the provided data. Foundation personnel symbol data file for delivery to SCP Redact A that it is altered at direction of Site 122. Administrator citing security concerns. Within nine hours following delivery of data file, SCP Redacted A Civilization identifies the false information and suggests that the Foundation personnel proceed with more candor and interest of mutual scientific and cultural development. Suggestion forwarded to O5 for, con for consideration. November 1972. Telegraphic cable through SCP Redacted, temporarily disconnected and withdrawn into containment chamber for routine maintenance. Following maintenance, SCP Redacted A cable end is reinserted into SCP Redacted for SCP Redacted A personnel reconnected it to the equipment on the other side. December 1972. Communication received from SCP Redacted A indicating that a temporal degradation in the customary response time signals from the Foundation would be experienced due to personnel shortages on SP Redacted A side. In response, a query message sent by SP Redacted A side indicated that the organization having custody of their their side of SP Redacted is experiencing a higher than normal incidence of personnel illness resulting 
and absentee absenteeism. January 1973. Message sent by SPR Redacted A side reported that his personnel situation is back to normal, but that illness is becoming widespread in the geographic area of the SV Redacted Dash A facility. March 1973. Message sent, sent by SV Redacted Dash A side indicated that local government is imposing quarantine measures in an effort to arrest spread of what is infinitely a viral outbreak on their side in response to, to a foundation offer to render assistance. SV Redacted Dash A civilization delivers data package containing pathology data. October 1973. After appropriate quarantine measures are taken at Site 122, Foundation requests that SCP Redacted A civilization deliver a sample of the virus. Sample is delivered through SCP Redacted and properly shielded amp ampule, which is then secured and analyzed subject to Class V contagious disease protocol. Upon analysis, virus found to be harmless flu variant. Foundation researchers send analysis data to SB Redacted A together with suggestions on synthesizing a vaccine and administering inoculation protocols. June 1973. SCP uh, Redacted A reports at least 8 million worldwide casualties attributed to virus and that foundation developed vaccine has been distributed and administered on, on widespread basis. August 1973, SCP Redacted-A reports that the spread of the virus appears to have been arrested and that the number of, of new instance, incidents of illness from the virus is dramatically decreasing. October 1973, SCP Redacted-A reports worldwide inoculation against the virus. December 1973, in the course of normal communications, SB Redacted A reports an unexpected decrease in new pregnancies. Uh, May 1974, SP Redacted A reports a dramatic drop in birth weight. August 1974, SP Redacted A reports that its analysis indicates that decrease in fertility appeared to be a side effect of the foundation provided vaccine. June 1975, SCP Redacted A reports widespread social disorder attribute to fertility issues and corresponding stresses on family life. In response to Foundation offer of assistance, message received stating, No, thank you. You have done enough. May 1975, change in management structure of SP Redacted A organization with custody of their side of SP Redacted. Communications received that their side are frequently belligerent and accusatory in tone. June 19, no, July 1975. SCP Redacted A organization unilaterally discontinues communications dealing with scientific and cultural exchange. September 1975. SCP Redacted A organization reports a massive ongoing worldwide an upheaval attribute to drop in fertility. Message received indicating fewer than 1,000 live births reported globally in the past 72 days. October 1975. Last communication received from SCP Redacted A. Communication consisted of text reading, You killed us. You did this to us. And in your carelessness and your arrogance, you have destroyed our poster posterity. But we shall avenge. We of the last generation pledged to vow this. We will find a way. December 1976. Monitors in SCP Redacted Containment Chamber indicate that various pathogens have been introduced into the containment chamber from the SCP Redacted A side, but have been isolated and destroyed. January 1977. High energy protocol being fired through. SCP Redacted from SCP Redacted A side, damaging Site 2122 Containment Chamber. Damage is permanently repaired. March 1984. High energy beam of co coherent radiant energy 
fired through SCP Redacted from the SCP Redacted A side, immediately followed by the, insert the insertion of various pathogens through SCP Redacted, damage from being re repaired, and pathogens isolated and destroyed. August 1984, directed energy weapon fired through SCP Redacted from the SCP Redacted A side, immediately followed by an insertion of various pathogens through SCP Redacted, damage from weapon repaired, and pathogens isolated and destroyed. Uh, April 1991, beam weapon fired through SCP Redacted from the SP Redacted A side, immediately followed by an insertion of various pathogens through SP Redacted, damage from being repaired, and pathogens isolated and destroyed. June 1991, at direction of Site-122 Administrator Foundation Phil's containment chamber of SP Redacted with quick-setting hardened ceramic. July 1991, ceramic dissolved by means of unknown solvent introduced through SCP Redacted from SCP Redacted A side. September 1992, high energy particle beam fired through SCP Redacted from SCP Redacted A side, immediately followed by an insertion of nanobots through SCP Redacted, damage from beams uh, repaired and nanobots isolated and destroyed. October 1992, large numbers of nanobots inserted through SB Redacted from the SB Redacted A side over a long continuous period damaged up to containment chamber from the nanobots repaired and nanobots destroyed. January 1994, iron rod at at least 8 kilograms in mass fired through SCP Redacted from the SB Redacted A side at velocity estimated 200 kilometers per second. Immediately followed by an insertion of nanobots through SB Redacted, damage from rods repaired, and nanobots isolated and destroyed. December 1994. Beam of coherent radiant energy fired through SB Redacted from SCP Redacted A side for over 108 continuous days. Total energy of beam uh, over that period estimated to be at over 10 to the 33 power EV. Site-122, extensively damaged, but pathogens and nanobots introduced through SP Redacted are, after cessation of particle beam, are successfully contained. March 1995, device insertion started into chamber through SP Redacted from the SP Redacted A side. Device is activated and, over a 40-minute period, heats the atmosphere within containment chamber into a superheated plasma, which damages containment chamber. Plasma successfully vented from chamber and containment protocol altered so as to require chamber atmospheric pressure to be maintained at near vacuum. February 1998. Miniaturized two-stage thermonuclear weapon of incompletely understood design introduced through SP Redacted from SP Redacted A side and detonated. Site 122 extensively damaged by pathogens and nano. Bots introduced through SB Redacted after detonation are successfully contained. July 2006. Cor corrosive fluid pumped into containment chamber through SCP Redacted from SB Redacted A side. Under extremely high pressure, pressurization of fluid continues after chamber is filled, resulting in damage to containment chamber. Pathogens and nanobots introduced through SB Redacted. After removal of fluid are successfully destroyed and facility repaired. April 2007. At direction of Site 122, Administrator remotely operated miniaturized probe placed in containment chamber and commanded to approach SCP Redacted. When probe came within 3 meters of SCP Redacted, a series of iron rods, each at least 8 kilograms in mass, were fired through SCP Redacted at high velocity. Velocities comparable to that experienced in zero one point oh in January nineteen ninety four incident rods destroyed pro pro and caused extensive damage to site one two two which was promptly repaired November two thousand eight gas of unknown composition introduced into chamber through site or uh, through SCP redacted. From the SP Redacted A side, under pressure following introduction 
additional substance introduced through SP redactive resulting in extremely rapid phase change of gas into solid with greater thermal in in thermal lock, lock, sorry in in intermolecular separation than ga gas which experts pressure on chamber sites resulting in extensive damage solid and rapid cell limits fall following which pathogens and nanobots are introduced pathogens and nanobots destroyed in facility repaired june redacted several mineralized ther thermo Nuclear weapons introduced through SP redacted from the SP redacted A side and detonated, followed by several high energy particle beams being fired through SP redacted from the SP redacted A side at various angles. SP redacted extensively damaged, uh, no, site 122 extensively damaged, but pathogens and antibodies introduced through SP redacted after cessation of particle beams are successfully contained. And there you go. That long ass log. <laughs> Jesus. Okay, so first off, this everybody is why we have clinical trials. Yeah. <laughs> like uh... Are you okay? I am highly frustrated. Extreme has done weirder things. Oh no, that's the thing. Like, this one is actually like this is a situation in which the SCP Foundation was absolutely in the moral right, and it's just the other party was a dipshit. Well, yeah. Like they were like, angry and belligerent, I believe it called them. Yeah, they oh, became yeah. angry and belligerent. After the SCP Foundation tried to genuinely help them, but on their side, they apparently didn't have the foresight to do clinical trials and make sure that everything was all right with the vaccine for them in particular. Mm -hmm. Like, if if those if them on that side had just done clinical trials, it could have all been avoided. I guess the SCP Foundation kind of assumed they would do that kind of how can how they do tests and trials. Yeah. yeah, but because the people on that side are some like somehow super advanced, but aren't advanced in the way of medical technology, which in I dare say how how does how does a population of Homo sapiens make it to the point of being able to make nanobots without increased medical technology look at yeah. the united states sorry i uh, but they also de i don't believe in reli oh, uh, yeah, true. religion either they don't do medication or religion um, so they're just a, i guess they're a bunch of atheists <laughs> they're a bunch Wait, of they're a bunch or, of or are they a bunch of anti-theists yeah. they're a bunch of anti-theist anti-vaxxers oh god the worst oh, type no. of people the unholy, the unholy duality of the antis. I fucking hate anti-theists. Yeah. What a passion. Because the thing is, if I remember correctly, aren't a lot of them, not all of them, but a lot of them, like, incredibly fucking racist? There, yeah, there, there's, there's a pretty significant portion of them that went down the wrong end of the... racists in every group of faith. Point. Yeah, but like they in particular uh largely went down the anti SJW pipeline. Oh. oh they they also went they also went down the they they also are majorly ableist. Yeah. Calling calling religion a mental illness, calling it a disease. Yeah. Mean all of us have a mental disease. Well, it looks like the creatures on the other side, or whatever the hell they are, um, they, they have a very low birth rate. Well, yeah, that was that that was established. So I, does that I, mean they'll eventually die if we just keep letting it going on long enough? 
Yeah, most likely at this point. They said that they are the last generation and yeah. they will have revenge, but they're dealing with the SCP Foundation. The best they've yeah. gotten was nanobots, pathogens, plus thermonuclear device. Like, yeah. like, like if they actually tried to work on medical stuff more and tried to be nicer to each other, then, you know, they wouldn't be, have been the last generation. Yeah. But they're yeah, too dicky to think about that. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. so like, point, so point being, oh, uh, you know what? That's the best way to put it. You know, this, this is America, the, the, the planet that this portal leads to. It's okay. America, the planet. Every, everyone has nice things, but they're also goddamn stupid and vengeful for no good reason. <laughs> it's it's Marika if Marika was completely filled... Actually, wait, it's already filled with anti-vaxxers, pretty much. Uh, completely filled with anti-theists. <laughs> yeah. Basically, this is what it looks like. If this portal was placed somewhere other than the SCP Foundation site, it would be a problem. Ooh, yeah, no. but since it's like... Imagine if it was placed in fucking Texas. Who do you think would win? The anti-theists or the extremely <laughs> religious? Oh my gosh. I, wa I want to see that actually oh happen. Unironically? No. Unironically. I think that would be fucking hilarious. No, this is a bad idea. It would be funny. Like, for one, we need to always remember that southern states are held captive by the Republican Party. Yeah. And statistically speaking, like, the majority of the people within these states are, yeah. more, pro are more progressive than you would be led on by the fact that they're living in a southern state. And this thing being in Texas, just full stop where in texas how in texas what what's it doing in texas how'd it get there like i don't know what i'm talking about anymore point being all this is to come back around to i think that this is a certain group's category yeah, like the, the scp foundation has this on lockdown yeah it's not getting out and like this is like one of those situations where i'd be kind of uh I, i'd be kind of I kind of feel like this could be reclassified to Euclid, but I mean, at the very least, you do have a technologically advanced group of very, very spiteful anti-theist humans on the other side of this hole that really wants to kill us. <laughs> so, like, I can understand the Keter classification. Yeah, I can understand yeah, that, too. If they went through it, I'm pretty sure they would get, like... They, they they went in and get past the door. Yeah, no, this it's just they, they would they would probably be, go, be going through like a very restricted area. So yeah, just like literally, you can just set up like two rows of people and just nope, you can't get through. Yeah, like the well, I mean, one like this is a very small hole. They they need to find. They would have to. I don't know how that would work, but point being like, yeah, if they manage to widen it enough to fit people through it, they're just going to get gunned down. Yeah. yeah. And like, maybe they have super advanced anti-theist armor. Uh, okay. We have mimetic agents. Yeah, well, just like, throws also... SCP-055 zero, zero, uh, zero at them. Wait, is, <laughs> no there any art? is there any art for this? We, we just throw SCP-049 at them, too. Actually, there actually there's an SCP that is powerful enough that it can literally just stop this SCP, and it's a joke SCP, and it's oh SCP God. J. Uh, uh, I think you cut out. No. Yeah, you cut out. No, I didn't cut out. That's the name. It's SCP. -J. It's a procrastination rock. Oh dear God! Yeah. <laughs> just toss that in the portal and he won't be able to do anything <laughs> so, like I really hate those other humans on the other side of this portal but I don't want to move right now <laughs> okay, okay here's, 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 here's my idea here's my idea here's my idea okay 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 
Hear me out. You mm-hmm. throw the rock at them. Mm-hmm. Boom! No more problems. That's what we're that's joking what we're, about. That's what we yeah, were talking that's about. Really, that's, that's what we're talking the, about. The question is, though, would you procrastinate throwing the rock in there? No, uh, they, they I like have, throwing rocks. They have so procedures in moving it. Oh, you're so horrible, yeah. Penguin. They have procedures in like moving rocks. it. I think, like, as long as it's in case, the anomalous effects aren't there. Yeah, they just... Okay, here's here's the plan, okay? We design a specifically set... A bizarrely... A very specifically set up cannon, okay? You load the box that has it in it, and you just pull the trigger. And the, the rock itself is launched out of the box. The box stays on our end. Then the rock ends up on the other end, and they ain't doing shit to us ever again. <laughs> Problem solved. SCP contained. <laughs> two, two at once, too. <laughs> so here's the thing, Hatchet. I'm just going to tell you this. That's not the first time that ha- that has happened. Not with like a can or something, <laughs> but they have used that SCP before for containment measures. Yeah. <laughs> Though, yeah, come to think of it, that that would mean that, like, <laughs> the the downside to this containment measure is that we wouldn't have the rock anymore for other SCPs. Yeah. I think it was used on Abel once before. Oh, yeah. <laughs> just, <laughs> just, make, just make Abel really, like, just super lethargic, like, uh, I think I just want to eat some chips, man. I, I don't need to destroy all this shit. Oh yeah, I think it I think it was denied test for six eight two. What would it even do to six eight two? It just make him less angry. He just <laughs> he just becomes a gigantic stoned wizard. <laughs> Instead of that, he becomes more angry, eats it, and becomes forever more angry. That's also a possibility. <laughs> Which is probably why it was denied. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> anyway, if we're done talking about uh the rock. <laughs> yeah, if we're well not just the rock, if we're done talking about the anti vax anti theist world. Yeah. Um the next SCP. Yeah, I think certain group and let's yeah. move on.